Hello there, this is Jesse Culver. I go by Wasnir Online. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to set up Hammer for use with the Source Engine Storybook. To begin with, you need to go to your Source SDK based 2013 single player bin folder. Uh, mine is located in my main Steam install location, so I'm going to go ahead and jump to there. And I'm going to open up a file in here called gameconfig.txt. If you're like me and it is missing, go ahead and run Hammer once. Click OK. Close Hammer. And you can see there's the file now. So I'm now going to open this up in Notepad. And on line here five, I'm gonna copy this configuration for Half-Life 2 and come down here to the bottom and I'm gonna paste it right after this. I'm now going to rename this part to Storybook. And I'm going to change the game directory here to be that of my source mod. So I'm going to come back over here, go to my source mods folder, open up storybook, and I'm going to copy that. And then I'm going to come over here and I'm going to paste it in. Next, you can see we have our FGDs. So I'm going to begin by changing this out like that. So now you can see it goes to storybook bin half-life2.fgd, which is accurate because over here we have an FGD folder. Oh, actually it's not accurate. FGD. And then we come back over here and you can see we have half-life2. We also have one called storybook that it contains our specific new entities that we made. So I'm going to change this zero here. To a one, and then I'm going to change this to be storybook.fgd. Next, I'm going to quickly look through this and see if I need to change anything. Everything looks fine up until I'm going to go ahead and copy this real quick. Map directory. I'm going to change this to be this. So now the default maps directory is going to be the map source folder, which is right. Here. And as you can see in here, we already have some um, example VMFs set up for you to play around with. Then I'm going to change the BSP directory to be the maps directory. And now I'm going to save this and I'm going to close it. Now, if I were to launch Hammer right now, uh, let's see, go to SKU maps common, single player bin, I'm going to double click the hammer.bat, and I chose storybook and clicked OK, and then clicked file, new, uh, let's go ahead and open up one of these demo files here. And I opened up, uh, let's say, the keypad demo. Everything looks messed up. That is because we're going to be using a special version of hammer for this mod. So go ahead and close this. And we are going to go ahead and download this link from right here. Download. Take it a while to think there, I guess. That download. 
There we go. Save file. And I'm going to go ahead and open this up. And you do need 7-zip for this if you don't have 7-zip. Uh, go to 7-zip.org. Make sure it's got the dash in there or the hyphen. Um, download for your appropriate version of Windows. Either you have a 32, but you most likely have a 64-bit computer. Um, once that is downloaded, though, you're going to open this up here. Have your source SDK 20 source SDK based 2013 single player bin folder open. You're going to just highlight everything, drag it over, so replace the files in the destination. All right. Now you need to go to your desktop, and you're going to create a new launcher. So you're going to click new. Right click, new text document. I'm going to name this um, tutorial launch. Instead of being .txt, I'm going to name this .bat. And I'm going to say yes. Now this is a batch file, which means it's going to execute a series of commands when it is run. So I'm going to now open this up in Notepad. And in the uh, install instructions here that came with it, you can see I have a paste bin link. I'm going to go ahead and just copy this. And these links will be in the um, description here for the video. And as you can see, it's just this. I'm going to copy this, paste it into here. Now, as you can see, this is pointing to the hammer directory or the hammer file location. So back here in the bin folder, I'm going to copy this. I'm going to highlight this and paste it. And then this is the mod directory. So I'm going to go find the mod. I'm going to copy this and then I'm going to paste it in there. And then I'm going to hit save. And now when I double click this, it launches this new version of Hammer. Move that there. Move that there. Now when I do keypad demo, we actually get the keypad demo. And I can just quickly compile this run there we go and that is how you set up hammer for use with the source engines If you have any questions, be sure to ask on our Discord. It is at discord.gg slash source engine. And be sure to um, post some pictures or send us an add-on or two of what you've been working on. Looking forward to seeing what people make. And until next time, I'm signing off.